Hey everybody, welcome back to another Frank Lloyd Wright Craft Friday. Um, today we are continuing work on Greycliff, uh, which you can see uh, right there in front of us. Uh, if you are new, um, uh, just a little brief explanation. So this is uh, an ongoing project in which I uh, recreate the architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright in Minecraft, uh, and I try to do so um, to scale. Uh, so I don't I don't scale up these buildings because obviously you could you could scale them up and you get all the little details and that sort of stuff. But I find it an interesting challenge to try and build it to scale um, and uh, within the sort of um, confines of Minecraft, right, with all the blocks and whatnot. Um, yeah, so this is a project that I started I don't know a few years ago. Uh, you can see some of the other builds over here. This is the the Darwin D Martin complex over here with a, a main house and. Uh, his brother-in-law's house and the gardener's house as well. Uh, I've got a bunch of other uh, houses dotted around. Uh, you can see off there in the distance, one of the previous weeks we did this one over here, which is the Fontana Boat House, the, the little gray one over there, uh, which I just actually posted comparison photos um, on my Facebook page. So if you look, if you search for Frank Lloyd Wrightcraft on Facebook, you'll be able to find my page there. Um, and I do, uh, I, I make, at the end of uh, any of these builds, I make like a little photo album uh, with some screenshots from the game as well as uh, photos of the actual houses that uh, usually photos that I've taken uh, in because I've visited a lot of these uh, locations. Um, and then I do like side by side comparison shots. So like I'll, I'll take a photo that I took and then sort of line up uh, this sort of screenshot uh, in Minecraft and then paste them side by side so you can sort of see uh, how well I did, or how how accurate it is. Um, but today we are going to continue work on Great Cliff over here. Uh, as you can see, eventually I've got a pretty extensive terraforming uh, project to do. Uh, I built it on this hill, and because uh, I wanted to, I wanted to build it on a hill because the actual Great Cliff uh, state is on a hill. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah. So here is an aerial shot of the um, house from the back. Uh, so that would be from uh, this view back here. Um, so you can see it does like it is on uh, on sort of a, a cliff face there. Warrior, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the chat. How's it going today? Uh, so yeah, so you can see that it is sort of on a cliff face there. Uh, and anytime that I build these houses in this world, um, I do try to find uh, terrain that is similar to where these houses are uh, in real life. So uh, yeah, so I built this here, and uh, obviously I'm gonna have to do some terraforming to um, match up the edge here to the uh, to, to the bottom. But that'll be a project for another day. Terraforming is uh, not everybody's cup of tea, uh, as far as like viewing. Um, viewing goes right like I don't know some people might find it very sort of zen to uh, uh, you know to watch somebody terraform uh, other, others might find it super boring so uh, I might do that uh, on my own time or on a different stream some of the random time but on these Friday streams uh, it is building working on building these masterpieces of architect Frank Lloyd Wright so yeah, so this is Great Cliff. Uh, a little uh, history about this. This is in Buffalo, New York, uh, and it's it's owned by the same, or it, it was commissioned by the same guy who commissioned this complex over here, Mr. Darwin D. Martin, who um, he and his brother moved to New York when they were I don't know in their teens uh, and started working for the Larkin Soap Company, uh, and then uh, in very much like a self-made man kind of way, um, Mr. Martin, uh, Darwin D. Martin, sort of rose through the ranks and then be and eventually became secretary of the whole Larkin Soap uh, Company. Uh, and he was a huge fan of Frank Lloyd Wright, both in Frank Lloyd Wright's architecture and Frank Lloyd Wright's um, uh, integrity and sort of um, his his work ethic, his mindset. And anyway, so Darwin D. Martin commissioned Frank Lloyd Wright not only to um, uh, construct or to um, to create his uh, or design his house um, and complex here where right? we got the main house 
We have uh, a, a indoor garden here with like the skylight. Uh, this is the carriage house, uh, as well as an, a semi-attached house for his sister and brother-in-law, and the gardener's house. Um, and then he also commissioned, uh, well, he lobbied for Franklin Wright to be the architect of the uh, Larkin Administration Building, uh, which was also in Buffalo, New York, no longer standing. This one it is, and you can go visit it. Um, and then he also commissioned him to build him a summer home, uh, which is called Greycliff. Uh, yeah. So Miss, Mrs. Martin in particular, uh, she was uh, she really liked gardening and the outdoors, and she was always a little miffed that uh, there wasn't enough light for her um, in uh, their home. Sort of like even though he did uh, build her this garden, um, uh, which I don't think Franklin Wright was super keen on but uh she really wanted a garden and so he built one for her um attached to this house um in his um uh how he thought that the garden garden should look so it ends up being this um long uh long row with uh that that's back back there supposed to be a replication of the uh, winged victory that statue uh anyway but i think she was always she always wanted more light or windows and so uh, hey, Atlas. Um, so when Franklin Wright designed their summer home, uh, it actually has this like really cool, almost see-through effect where there are windows like all across the bottom on both sides. Let me get to a better photo here. Uh, yeah, so here you can actually see like straight through the house. Um, which is a really cool effect. So... Yeah, so this is what we've done so far. Um, I don't know, it's coming along, I think. Um, you can see the uh, the front part. I've got a lot of details on the front. And we uh, last time we worked on the sort of interior spaces of the ground floor, we added on, this is the um, chicken. What are you doing here? This is not your house. Go away. Uh, right, so we added on... The uh, this is the dining nook. I forgot what they call it. Uh, dining alcove. Um, that's what it says on the blueprints there. Yeah. So if you see on the side, I have some reference photos that I use. Uh, so on the top, we have uh, photos of the house. These are ones that I took while visiting uh, this house. So I use these for reference. Um, sometimes I supplement with ones on the internet, like. Uh, this first shot here, uh, I did not take this one. I do not have a drone that can take photos like that. Um, but it uh, gives a good aerial view, especially of the, the back in relation to where that cliff face is. But otherwise, all the other photos are ones that I took of the house here. Uh, and then in the middle there, you see uh, blueprints of the house. So, uh, and I've got a few there as well. Uh, and also a little little model of uh, the house that was on display at Greycliff. So, um, yeah, so I use these for reference too, especially the blueprints. They're super helpful. So here is the first floor plan. Uh, today we'll be looking at uh, the second floor plan uh, and uh, starting to add on the second floor there. Uh, might might need to finish up some things here of the first floor. Um but yeah, so we this was the dining alcove. Uh, we got a little pantry here. Uh, the kitchen is through here. Uh, and then if we go back, we've got another sunroom here. So this place actually has a couple sunrooms, one on, uh, I think one of these is the, the north side, one is the south side. Uh, so there's a sunroom here, uh, and then one on the other end as well. So yeah, so that's what we've done so far. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, so let's see here. Where do I, what else do I need to do here? I guess we're pretty good on the first floor. Uh, I don't need to add some windows uh, into that. Uh, actually, let me go look at the back of the house here. Let's see if there's any other details that I might need to add. Uh, 
when I was there, it was under like some dr very drastic renovation, which I think has been completed uh, now. Um, I'd love to go see it again sometime, like with the like renovation all all done. Um, so yeah, so a lot of these shots you'll see, um, yeah, like a lot of uh, areas that were were roped off or sort of stripped down that they were working on renovating. So. Let's see, where are the exterior shots on the back of the house? Here we go. Yeah, okay. Uh, cool. So that's pretty much done there. Mm hmm. I wonder if we should pop this wall out one more. So that it lines up with... Yeah, maybe we should do that. Okay, so... Is it like right at that window or... One in? Should we do like so? Is that going to get us on the... Yeah, then it's going to be the ground floor there. Okay. So we'll take this out one. It does cut off a little bit of the roof there, of here. Hmm. <coughs> what if we brought that up one and out? What if we did it here? Let's see what that looks like. If it's might end up being too far out and look weird, but let's see. Nope. Or we can use that for a reference. And then it would need to be down one here. Uh, that looks too much, I think. Yeah, it's too weird and floaty. Okay. It's fine. It can be just two there if we need to. Uh, so we did what here? And then here. Was it over quite that much? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, are we good? No, then that looks weird. We'll leave it here. Yes, we could sew that in there. That probably looks a little better. Okay. Whoops. Sell off the world. Okay, so let's finish this stuff here. Uh, we can, we're going to insert um, windows in later. We're going to fill this in now.
cool. Oh, I wonder if we should... Hmm. Maybe we should line this up. I wonder... Let's see here. Let me look at the blueprint for the second floor. No, it's okay. Yeah, they, they cut in at different places. So that's fine. Okay. So now let's tackle the second floor. Um, I guess we'll start off over here. So we're looking at the um, uh, blueprints like so. Uh, okay. So these first two rooms are pretty much done. I know this room is a little bit uh, wonky. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and... Does that need to be there? No, that doesn't. We can make this have a proper door. This is going to be a very tiny bathroom here. That's fine. Uh, it is cut off here. Uh, and... Yeah. So... Okay, well we can actually, we can make this like that. Because there's like a little bathroom space. So we've got this door here that comes in. And then there's a little bathroom there. So that'll be our tiny, tiny bathroom. Um. And yeah, we'll put our toilet in here. Ta-da! Toilet. Uh, I guess we could put a sink thing here. But, eh. Okay, uh, doors. Let's see. Let's go ahead and use the dark oak doors. I think that's probably closer to what is inside here. Uh, let's do this from this side. And... Um, that is kind of just open there. Uh, I guess there's a... Look at this here. Okay. And... Let me do it here. Does that need to be? No. Can be that. And we can put a door here. Yeah. Cool. So now, starting to look more like it. We've got the uh. Uh, Mr. Martin's uh, room and little bathroom, little uh, entryway there, and it goes out onto the balcony over here. Actually, for the balcony, we might use uh, the birch doors because I think we've been using that other places for the exterior doors. Let's see here. Door, birch. Cool. Uh, and then let me see if I can get to the front of the house here. Those pictures are way. Oh, actually, that might also help. Okay, there is really only one window back there. That's peculiar, but okay. Um, and we were also going to use uh, just the regular glass panes, which I know is much contested 
uh, on uh, on Minecraft. But because of that um, that see-through window effect, um, I think we're gonna use the glass to get um, more of that like really see-through effect, uh, both on the ground floor, and then to make it match, we'll use it in these upper floors here. So then we need to, I can't believe there's only one window here. Okay. I'll go ahead and bring this up as well. We'll probably go in and put um, a slightly lower ceiling in uh, rather than, well, maybe we won't. Uh, I wonder what color I should make the ceiling. Actually, I wonder if I have any. I'm going to go back to the beginning one because I want to see the, the windows on. Uh, the outside front of this corner of the house. Yeah, there. Okay. Okay. So maybe we'll put another window there to kind of get that effect. Could put one here too. No, that's just solid. Okay. Um, hmm. Or we could try to. Oh, let's see here. Uh, can we get the corner window effect here? Yeah, we can kind of. Okay, let's do that. And we'll have a single window here. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, okay, cool. Excellent. Um, and then these probably need to be too high as well. Does that look weird with the door? Maybe it does. Maybe we'll just make those a single high. Okay. And now let's uh, let's see if we can get some interior shots of Mr. Martin's bedroom here. I think this is is this it or is this the yeah okay. So let's see, what kind of other slabs do we have that we would make a good ceiling? Uh, we could always use smooth quartz. Um, I, don't think, I don't think any of the, the wood ones would be right. Um, we could use sandstone. Or the smooth sandstone. Let's try these three. Do we want smooth quartz or do we want a quartz slab? I don't know. Let's take a look. Okay, so here is, I don't think I like that. That's the, that's the sandstone. Uh, okay, we could do smooth sandstone, which probably we're going to go with. Um, here is the quartz, or the quart, uh, we've got smooth quartz and quartz. What's the difference? Okay. Yeah. So that's the, that was the quartz, and here's the smooth quartz. Oh, I see, there's like the, maybe we'll use smooth quartz. Just to give it some contrast. I know, like, it does look like it's the same, same color, uh, the roof, or the ceiling. In a lot of these shots, although they're, uh, hmm. yeah, but I think it might look nicer. We could put that trim around.
Interesting. Okay, so I think we're going to use the... We're going to use the smooth quartz for the ceiling. And we might try and do a little bit of this trim work as well. Uh, also, I want to grab some torches um, just to light this up. That looks... And the ceiling here. Uh, I know I'm playing in creative, but uh, this used to be a, a, a world that uh, actually Atlas and I shared. Um, and we would sort of, or I would sort of toggle between um, creative and survival, depending on what we were doing. Like if I was doing the Frankly Brightcraft stuff, um, I would have, I would play this in, uh, in creative. But if we were doing other more adventure type projects, then it would be in survival. So uh, just in case this ever gets toggled back over to survival, I want to make sure that this is mob-proof. Um, okay. Okay. I guess you can put this. I should put a torch in the bathroom as well. Put it here. Uh, and I guess I should put one in here as well. So we'll just put it right over the door. Okay. Now, the question is, do we want to try to... Oh, I'm going to have to move these, most likely. Do we want to try and run some of that trim piece, like here? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it does give it a little bit of, of texture in here. Just give me one sec. Okay. Just checking on the Facebook, because uh, I, uh, I have, like I said, I have a Facebook page, and so I post when I'm going live. Okay, so, we also have this, uh, this is a sort of, I don't know, staircase, ancillary space here. Um, it looks like This is here, and then this is going to be that long hallway. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make the floor here um, out of this. Uh, I do have this down here. Hmm. Maybe I should turn that all into, since we're going to carpet the upstairs anyway. 
maybe I should just turn this all into, yeah. I'm gonna take rip all this out, and I'm gonna move, put the uh, the smooth quartz in. So then that'll be our ceiling. Uh, and upstairs it won't matter. Like I said, we are gonna put down carpet. Uh, we'll probably put down a brown carpet to mimic the the wood flooring that we have up there. But for here, we want to have the nice uh, lighter color ceiling. I'm pretty sure that's what's downstairs. Let me just double check here. I'm second guessing myself what it should be downstairs. Yeah, see, this is all quite light downstairs. Okay, cool. That's what we're going to do. Um, and I'm going to go back upstairs. So this is where we left off, kind of. In this little, yeah. This is the oh so invigorating part. <laughs> Just putting down a bunch of the same tile over and over and over again. Decided we were going to rip this out. Uh, same thing out here, I think. Unless, oh, now I'm, I'm going to see here. What is what is the underside of the... Maybe we'll actually use the... Um, no, here let's use the... Uh, the smooth sandstone here um, because it is an exterior space and that makes more sense to me to have that be the same in the exterior space right because that would be different materials uh, sort of materials that are, are better for the uh, the elements uh, and then in here I'm gonna rip all this out and we're gonna lay in the lighter color ceiling Uh, hey Katya. Uh, sorry, I uh, I I toggle my my um, chat window uh, so that I can see more of the pictures. How many Franklin Red Buildings have you been to in person? Uh, a lot. Uh, actually, I can tell you. If you just give me a second here, let me look. I have a, a crazy master list. Um, uh, so let's see. Uh, Actually, I wonder if I can, give me one second, I can show you, I think. Uh, let's see, capture. Huh, that does not want to show. Okay, um, that's okay. Uh, I can just I can read them out. Um, so I have uh, let's see I've been to the Rosenbaum House in Alabama, I've been to Taliesin West in Phoenix, 
or Scottsdale, uh, on the Scottsdale Spire. I've been to the Arizona Biltmore House, which is in Phoenix. I've been to the First Christian Church in Phoenix. The Grady Gamage Memorial Auditorium uh, in Phoenix, uh, Tempe. Uh, I've been to Hollyhock House in Los Angeles. I've been to the VC Morris Gift Shop, um, in which is now uh, Isaiah. Uh, it's a, another um, it's a clothing store. It's in San Francisco. I've been to the Martin County Civic Center in San Rafael and the Martin County U.S. Post Office in San Rafael. But we're up to 10 here. I've been to the Roby House in Chicago, the Rookery Building in Chicago, Franklin Wright's Home and Studio in Chicago, uh, the Isadora Zimmerman House in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire, the Darwin D. Martin Complex in Buffalo, uh, which also includes the Gardner's Cottage and the George Barton House, that's that whole complex there. Uh, I've been to the Blue Sky Mausoleum in Buffalo, the Fontana Boat House in Buffalo, the filling station in Buffalo. I've been to the site of the Larkin administration building um, in Buffalo, which has like a little plaque and some information. Uh, I've been, or I've driven past the William R. Heath house in Buffalo. It's privately owned. Uh, I've driven past the Walter V. Davidson house in Buffalo, privately owned. I've been to Greycliff in uh, Buffalo, or it's technically in Derby outside of Buffalo. I've been to the Guggenheim Museum in New York. Um, I've been to uh, the exhibit in um, uh, in uh, one of the museums in New York. They have a, a recreation or a reconstruction of the Francis Little House. Um, what else have I been to? I've been to Falling Water uh, in Bear Run. So, shit, we're up to 25 now. Okay, I've been to the Pope Leahy House in Alexandria, Virginia, which is outside of D.C. Okay, so I've been to... 26 different Franklin Wright locations. Uh, so yeah, hope that answers your question, Katya. Uh, a lot, a lot of them. <laughs> so. Let's see here. Uh. Okay, uh, back to more block placement, uh, and I won't I won't toggle my chat away. Sorry about that, Katya. Don't know if you're still around. Let me see here. Give me one sec. Oh, I won't be able to get through there like that. Okay. Can I? Okay, that still needs to be down. Okay, this might have to be a little bit different because of the, uh, the stairs there. Okay. And 
I think now we might have ceilings for everything. Great. Okay. Um, so then let's see here. Uh, looking at the blueprints here. So now let's do, uh, actually let's work on the, the hallway here. Um, let me see if I can get that queued up so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, this would be Mrs. Martin's bedroom. Uh, oh no, that's the, no, this is still, um, I think that's still... Mr. Martins. Yeah. So this is the hallway that we're talking about, uh, which is going to be really interesting to try and get this ceiling. Um, uh, let's see here. Where am I? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because I made it. Huh. I could do it with stairs. That's what we're going to do. Because it's too wide, so I can't use slabs. We're going to use stairs. That's exactly. Um, and I don't know if I want to use the smooth quartz stairs or the smooth sandstone stairs. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll still use smooth quartz. Okay. So that means we can still have this here. Okay, so we need to have, looks like we need to have two rooms in this space here before we get to the chimney. Because you can kind of see where the chimney pops up here. Do this. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can kind of see on the blueprint where, um, like, the, the chimney pops up. Oops. Because that'll be... That'll be our determiner for the um, the end of that second room there. Yeah, I think we've got perfect amount of space here. For these uh, these rooms. Not gonna be super big, but then again, Frank Lloyd Wright bedrooms are not super big. <laughs> yeah, and then this will be our sunroom out here. Great. Uh, and this is the, yeah, uh, the stairwell here. We'll, we'll fix that a little bit. Uh, maybe we should put this up here like a so. Um, so that. Yeah, maybe that's probably good there. Uh, okay, so then this will be that sunroom at the end. And let me look at some of the other um, interior photos here. Oh, so the other bedrooms. Okay. So I think this is the first bedroom. Um, the one that'd be right here. Yeah. 
Actually, that might work out perfectly. Oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong side. Uh, yeah, the first bedroom, which would be like here. And then if we pop over to the photos. Uh, okay, so that goes into the bathroom there. That actually might be on the other side of the chimney. Okay, so these are all pretty simple. Okay, there's where the fireplace thing is. So we do want a little bit of a fireplace there. And then an entrance into that little bathroom. Okay. Okay. Let's hop back in here. Actually, let's let's go ahead and uh, deal with this fireplace. That window does kind of almost go right up next to it. It might be kind of weird though to have it right there. Okay, that's good. Cool. That's going to be our window situation. Bring this across here. Okay, cool. Now, fireplace here. Okay. Uh, well, we can, we could always go ahead and put in these glass windows. Whoops. Yeah, because we can do, actually that'll work out nicely. We can do the little bathroom thing here. Okay. Uh, let's grab, what do we need? We all need that, so let's grab this here. Um, we could do that, or we could, we also could eat into this. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, okay. We might change that up a little bit. What is this? Can we... Actually, yeah, we can make that this. That would be totally fine. Oh, now we're stuck outside. We're stuck inside. We need to be outside. <laughs> uh, if I just do this, can I get up through that hole? <laughs> Apparently, I cannot. There we go. There. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, okay. Does this need to be this? Maybe, yeah. Okay. That's fine. That could be covered up if we need it to be. Okay. And then this would be here. The wall here. Uh, and then this is going to be this little bathroom area here. Uh, okay, we still need two rooms. So let's make this super small. Um, 
Yeah, this doesn't have to be stone. Does that? Yeah, that does. Okay. Okay. Um, and we will need a, a door to that bathroom. here. We can make a little radiator thing there. Let's see. What if we do... Yeah, like... Like that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. That can look nice. And let's do this on this side. Do one here and one there. Like so. And we'll put a couple of torches in here. And then. Nice little ceiling. Yeah. Um, and we could even, if we wanted to. Oh, I see how that is. Well, that's fine. We're just gonna we're gonna do it like this. Um. Okay. We can also put our our toilet here. Um, and we can be silly. And put a, a sink here. <laughs> and, uh, was it, uh, this. There. It's a bathroom. <laughs> uh, we can also uh, put a towel hanging here. There you go. Fine. That could be there like that. Okay, so now we're back to these rooms here. Figure out, just figuring out how to divide them up. Let's finish this wall here. Bring this across. Nope, not that. And bring this across here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, right, so divvying this up here. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll do it here. Like that. 
excellent. Um, I hope that one has like little built-in closets. So with this one, the door is like right in the center. Can we make center one? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can't do it exactly in the center. Uh, unless we change up these windows here. Let's look at the back of the house and see what this window situation is like on the second floor in the back. Oh, it's covered because they were doing renovations. Blast. I can't see if they're evenly distributed or not. Uh, actually, let me let me take a quick pop over to the internet. Um, I know you guys won't be able to see this, but let me see if I can find a picture on the back. Uh, show me the back, show me the back. The front. Ah, here's the back. Uh, okay, they're, they're pretty evenly spaced. Where's a better picture of the back? This is a better picture of the back. Yeah, they're pretty evenly spaced. They're actually a little bit wider here. So I could get away with doing something a little bit different. Still looking at some photos here. Okay. Oh, there actually is. There's a balcony back here. Okay, I'm going to have to re rearrange some things. Okay. So Okay. This is going to have to be balcony. Uh Yeah, because this actually just comes across here. So this can still be here like this. Um, let me take this out. I'll bring this out one more so we can get this here. And then we'll put these along here. Like that. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, and so now we can make this balcony here. 
like so. And we'll put this on top. To trim it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. There we go. This is better. Um, actually, we could bring this in one, and I think it would be fine. Nope. Like if this was here like this. We would still get the effect of the balcony. Yeah. I think that's going to be okay. Okay. So, slight readjustment. That's fine. Uh, which means we're going to need to move this over. We still want a fireplace like that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Um, cool. Okay. Well, actually, we could, we could make this, because it does stick out a little bit. We do see, yeah, 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 like that. Okay. That'll be good. Okay. So now we need to go back to, um, what do I have to, two smooth sort of stairs. We don't need two smooth sort of stairs. Okay, so now let's go back to, like, I can kill this. Look at the blueprints again. Okay, so there are also doors to the terrace. Okay, maybe we'll do something. Could we do like window and then door and then window? Maybe this is where we do that. This is where that door is. Uh, or maybe we just divide it here like this. Well, then that would be in the middle. Or if we do it here. And then we can do window, door, window. Yeah, let's do that. All right, this is our little our little toilet room. <laughs> okay, and we're putting a door here. Cool. And then I think it looks like uh, so. We'll do this. It looks like there are closets. Maybe we'll, what do we got for trap door? What, what looks, what could I use? Yeah, maybe we'll use this again to make some closet type things. Uh, 
or maybe it would look better with the spruce. Yeah, let's do that. That looks less weird. Okay. All right, and we can put in some windows here. Cool. Fill this in. Put in a couple torches here. And I'll put it there. This is going to be that hallway. I think we're going to do something like this. Or we could bring it down one. Uh, no, we can't do that because of the windows. It's not stuck with the door there. Take this across. All the way down. And on the other side, where's the start? This will start here. We could even bring this down one more, the ceiling here. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. I like that. Now I'll take this across. Oops, got those backward. Uh, okay, yeah. Now let's go ahead and put in these windows. That's, that's not where that goes. Cool. Uh, now we're just going to figure out where the door goes here. So that's on the on the edge actually. It's like over here. Okay, so that'll still work as a fireplace. Yeah. Alright, 
let's go back to our photos and see if we can get some more insight into the upstairs interiors. So this is this hallway that I was talking about. Um, let's go take a look at that. Yeah, here. Uh, I guess we could probably put in some radiator type things. Uh, let's do that. I like the little covered radiators. There, and let's do one here. Yeah, that looks good. It's about as a uh, vaulted of a ceiling as we, we can get here. Okay. Uh, and we've got this room. I guess we need to put in. Glass here. Fly over here. We did that. Okay. Uh, we just need these doors. So let's do back to the birch doors because we've been using those for the exterior doors. There we go. Okay, let's back, back to the photos. See if we can get any other insight here. All pretty, pretty vanilla. We could put some of that trim in. Yeah, some of this trim. Okay, let's let's play with that. Uh, so we're gonna need some of the dark oak slabs for this, and we're gonna do this, I think. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll do the same thing over here. We did it like right above the windows, right? Yeah, okay. So we'll do the same thing over here. Look we'll at this nice trim work here. If I can place my blocks correctly. Jesus, Mickey. Get it together! Uh, and then we can, well, we should put some, some torches in, so you can see. <coughs> um, oh, we could put beds in here. Uh, let's see. Bed. Here we go. And same thing over here. Put a bed in here. Yeah, nice. And then uh, I think we can go ahead and put in the ceiling. What did we do over here with that trim work? Is that really right on the edge? Oh, so no, that, that covered. Okay. Maybe we should do that. Yeah. Okay, we're going to lower it a, a bit. Then we'll do the ceiling up here. Yeah. Nope. 
cool. Ta-da! And one more torch over here. Okay. Cool. Now over here, we gotta fix the trim work here as well. So that'll be here. And we'll take this across. And over here. Oop. Yeah. Okay. And then the ceiling. And we might change. I should put another stone there. We'll see. We'll see once the ceiling's in if it looks weird or not. Does that look weird? It kinda does. Kinda does. Okay, so let's take this and we'll do that. Yeah, that looks better. Much, much better. Cool. Alright, making some progress here. How are we doing on time? Okay, it's 5.20. Uh, at 6 I am switching over to playing um, Seven Days to Die. Um, that is something that uh, my co-op crew and I have been playing, and we're, we're gearing up for the next Horde night, so should be exciting. Cool. All right. Oh, it's going to be soon. It's going to be time to put on roofs. I love doing roofs. I don't know why. I just love doing roofs. Uh, and then here's this other bedroom. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, and that's gonna work out perfectly. Uh, let's see here. I need to move this around, see better. Okay, sweet. Nope. Ah, messing up all over the place. Goodness. Get it together. Okay, and here we're going to do door. Do it there. Or do it, let's do it here. Okay. We need to finish this. And then we'll do this here and here. Excellent. Finish off with that. Okay, uh, and I don't really remember much about the other bedroom over here. I guess there's technically two. Um, I don't really have space for two. <laughs> Might just leave this open as is here. We will put in some windows, but otherwise we'll probably leave that as is. Oh, 
Oh, and it's dark in here now. Okay. That's fine. We can put in some torches. Torch down there. Put one in here. Yeah, and with this, uh, so we do need to figure out the window situation here. Let me look at the back of the house again. And see what that looks like. Okay, so it's a lot of little ones, little little windows. And there's definitely. Uh, a wider one over here. Ooh, like this, like so. That's extra wide, but it's at least centered. We've got like a little skinny one here. Which is fine, that's actually perfect. And then here. Let's do this. Let's see how this works out. Perfect. It works out perfect. Uh, except this. That's fine. We can do this. And it's going to look not dumb on the inside. It's, it's going to be great. So we could we could make this into two. Uh, this goes through here. Oh nope, can't go through there. If it goes through, it'd have to go through here. But that's into the. Uh, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna do this. Oh, we can't do like that. We can do. Like so. And we are going to do the bed thing again here. Here and here. Some torches here. Here. We went there, but no, we probably went on the opposite wall. Here and here. And here. And then we're going to do this thing again. Get a little trim in here, and then we'll do the ceiling here.
Excellent. Okay. And this goes to the sunroom here. Great. Or the, uh, I don't know, the outside room? The, whatever this room is. I don't know what this room is called. But it is, do I have a photo of this room? Let's see here. Which one would this be? It's, I think it's this room. Yeah. I remember, I remember it had, yeah, let me look at the, let me look at the, outside of the house on the front. Yeah. Skinny little windows out there. Okay. Uh, so let's see here. We've got those, like I said, skinny little windows over here. So maybe we just do a little one here, like that. And, oh, that's a wall. Okay. Uh, a little one here like that. And then, I don't remember what the back is like. It looks like there might not be any windows on the back. Is that true? Like on the, on the, on the side there, here. I feel like that's a little weird. Maybe we'll put one here anyway. Can't hurt. Uh, let me go back to that photo and see if we can see anything else. <laughs> Uh, no, no. No, this is the one right next to the chimney. Here, this. You know what? There might not be any windows over here. I don't see any light coming from that way. Kind of bizarre. All right. Well, I guess we'll leave it. And then um, we're going to do the same trim trick in here. I'm also going to put a bed. We're going to put a single bed this time, I think. Because it is like... Let's do Can I put one of these here? Yeah. Let's do that. Now we're gonna put in the ceiling.
We should plant some torches in here. There we go. Cool. So now that's done. We have ceilings on everything. I think. Yeah. Uh, we should probably put a door here. Looking good. Look at all those ceilings. Oh, this one didn't get finished. Except for the ceiling. Nope. So now the entire second floor is done and filled in, which means. We can start working on the roofs now. Okay. So now let's go back to the very beginning here. And we're going to look at the outside of the house. Okay, so we've already started a little bit here. Some of these are going to be tricky. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be super interesting. So I want to snag this one. Yeah, like this. I guess we could just start by by starting by going around the edge here. Okay, we'll look, we'll come back to that later. Cause I want to see how it wraps around the. Um, uh, this would have to change. That. That comes out to there, so yeah, okay, this is gonna be fine. I have to figure out what to do over here with this situation. Uh, unless I go up one more. What if I did that? I don't like that. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, well, I'll we'll have to figure out what to do there.
You may need to have up two photos, one on the back as well. Let's see here. So you can see the back. Um, I've added another photo, which you guys can't see. Sorry about that, but it'll be fine. Uh, just so I can see how this butts into... It, it really does just butt into the... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, cool. I guess that's just what we'll have to do. That's fine. There we go. Oh, oh I did not finish this level. Should do that before I move on to the next one. I guess we could go ahead and put down some torch spam in here. That's good enough. Back to roofs. There we go. Uh, sweet. Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, roofs are so cool. I like building rooms. This would go across. Yeah, we'll have to figure, we'll have to do this over here too. Yeah, I find building rooms really peaceful.
like seeing the way that they all like line up and stuff. And connect to corners. Continue on over here. It's going to have to come up a bit more here, which is fine. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll do there. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We might have to bring this out one more. Try to get this up higher faster. Yeah. Uh, well, we, let me look at these. Is it the same all the way across? hard to tell. No, actually it might not be. Okay, so... This might need to come to a point here and then down. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. We can do that. Okay.
Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I do need to then take this out one more. Yeah, okay. I think that's what we're gonna need to do. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We can do that. Oh, it's getting close to time. Guys, we made a lot of progress today. This is like a lot of house. Now this lines up. Oh, it's so good. This works out so well! And that's it! That's the roof! Oh, look how good that looks. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know if I like this peak here. Uh, I mean, like, it does technically go to a peak, but it looks, looks... Well, nah, maybe I should just leave it. Oh, that's looking good! Yeah! I like it. Uh, I think this... 
to come out. One more. Yeah, I think that looks a little better. Woohoo! Okay, this chimney's got to go up a little bit. Probably maybe do a sneaky campfire in there and make some smoke come out. We do that here. Is that is it? Are we tall enough? Uh, let me look at the. Oh no, I, I have it there. Uh, I think it probably needs to go up a little, just a little bit more. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay. And now let's let's sneak a campfire in there. <laughs> Alright, I like it. Uh, and that is a perfect place to stop uh, for today. Uh, next time we are going to be probably... Um, doing a little bit of landscaping here, uh, and then adding on the, let's see if I can show you an angle here, uh, you can kind of see it there, there, and then starting to add on the uh, servant's house um, as well. But until then, this is what we got, guys. This is basically Grey Cliff. Oh, I forgot some windows. Let me put in some windows here. Close the door. Yeah. Woohoo. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm so happy. So there we have it, guys. Uh, most of Greycliff, the main building, is built. Uh, we're going to come back next time and do some landscaping and also um, texturize some of the blocks a little bit. So, like we did in the uh, uh, on the front of the house there. Uh, but carry that out onto into the the water feature as well, and yeah, do a little landscaping. Start on the servant's house, um, but that is what we're going to be starting on next Friday. So I hope you'll join me next Friday to continue this journey. Uh, I hope you stick around. I'm going to go take a quick bio break, and then I'll be back playing a very different game, a far less peaceful game uh, called Seven Days to Die, which is a um, I don't know, a zombie survival crafting game. Um, and that I'm playing with a bunch of my co-op friends. Um, it's uh, The premise is that uh, every seven nights there's this like big, there's a blood moon and so like, there's a big swarm of zombies. So it's a matter of like building up your base uh, and getting prepared for that, uh, ready to like take on the horde um, and whatnot. So I am particularly pleased with this corner over here. I really like how it turned out. Look at that. Look at that. It looks so good. Okay. Well, anyway, I will see you guys in a bit, hopefully. Um, and if not, I'll see you on another night. Bye, guys.